That's right. Right now, this incident is under investigation. It's been under investigation just after the day it happened. All three officers that are involved are still employed by Decatur Police, but the man that the police officer that did punch that man, he is on administrative duties, which means he's not out patrolling the streets. Well, just a few minutes into this press conference, we actually got body cam video shown to us of that same incident. If you're taking a look at that right now, it shows the officers entering the store. They see a man on the floor. That man is later identified as a shoplifter. Then they see the owner, who at the time police do not know who he is, so he has a mistaken identity there. He is holding what they believe is a gun. Later, they realize that that was just ammunition, but they're giving him several marks to put the gun down. He is not complying with them. They said after telling him multiple times, they saw him reach towards something, and that's when that officer took action and actually punched him in the face. And you see the other officers gather on top of him. I did speak to that owner earlier today. He says that he is taking legal action. He has hired a lawyer, and the police chief confirmed that as well. So they're expecting possibly a lawsuit in this case. Now, when I asked the police chief about what his message was to people who were angry after witnessing this video, he says he wants people to know that they can trust them, that the police have their best interests, that they're just trying to protect them, and that they're trying to be transparent. And that's exactly why he held this press conference, especially in this time, in this climate, and what's going on across the country right now. For now, reporting live indicator, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.